people, what's going on everybody? This is Matt Does Fitness and last week I told a friend of mine that I was going to the fun fair. Um, to which he said, ooh, are you going on the ghost train? And I said, no, I'll just drive mate. Right, this is my bench press day from week two of my maximum effort and dynamic effort template. Um, now last week I hit 275 pounds which is technically a pause bench press PR but um, slightly frustrating because prior to um, switching to a pause, when I was just doing stand and touch and go, I have gone over 300 pounds. So it's a little bit kind of um, humbling, but it should get back up there not too, uh, in not too much time, hopefully. Right, now this is my first single of the session, 226 pounds, 102.5 kilos, and it felt fairly easy. A um, uh, little uh, side note, I cut my finger the other day. Um, on a cupboard, bizarrely, um, and it was quite frustrating because it kept uh, like coming open and bleeding everywhere during the session. So I was trying to kind of avoid squeezing it on the bar, um, <clears throat> which made it a bit awkward. This is my second single, 253 pounds, 115 kilos, and again, it felt pretty decent. Um, with the pauses, I'm finding it a little bit difficult um, in terms of how long to hold it down there because when you're actually doing it, I mean, sometimes I feel like I've, I feel like I've kept it down there for ages, and I watched the video, and actually, it's only about you know like half a second. So I am trying to work on keeping it down for a good count of one, but um, it's kind of variable at the moment. This is my penultimate. Oh, thanks there, buddy. Brilliant. Just literally stand right in front of the camera. That was my penultimate single that you missed because some more. I'm standing in front of the camera. Uh, 264 pounds, 120 kilos. And this is my final single. Um, this was 281 pounds, 127.5 kilos. This would be uh, another pause bench press PR, um, which would be two consecutive ones. And I can tell you that I got it. Now, <clears throat> you'll see here when the rep starts, comes down, I hold it for a decent amount of time, I think. I think that's enough. Um, now, it looks, it was a grinder. Um, I always knew I was going to get it. It was one of those where I knew I was going to get it, but it took ages. You can't see it there, but the right side of the bar kept uh, kind of clipping the little, um, the kind of bracket that you sit at the bar, and it kept clipping it, so it kind of, it was kind of, I hit it about three times, so it was kind of slowing me down, but I did get it up, and like I say, it looked hard, it was hard, but I always knew I was going to get it, so that's pretty pleasing. 281 pounds with a pause bench press, not too bad, um, and like I keep saying, as I get used to these heavy singles and the pause, it should continue to rise. Now, this is my dynamic work. This is the first of my eight sets of three, right back down to 154 pounds, 70 kilos, and I felt really good here. Um, I'm starting to get to grips with this dynamic work. I'm starting to hit the reps really, really fast, um, and it feels good. Obviously, the principle is that you are training your CNS to contract muscle fibers quickly and efficiently, and it feels like um, I'm getting there. Right, on to the accessory work. Um, I hadn't done any chest uh, in my overhead press session previously, so I thought I'd hammer my chest today. And obviously, because the bench press work is not many reps, again, I feel like I need to make sure I don't neglect it. So, uh, to start, I did some cable kind of chest press slash flies, kind of predominantly a fly, I guess, but I was trying to keep some press element in there. Um, I was coming quite wide. I did three sets of about 12 reps on these. Uh, doesn't look like it there, but I was keeping my chest out. I felt some nice engagement, particularly when I was crossing over at the end. Um, I then did uh, a trademark of mine, although it's not a trademark that I want. Um, I did some bent over cable flies again. This is a pure fly. Um, <clears throat> I was working on, again, as always, a nice big crossover at the finish. Because when you cross over there, particularly focusing on crossing over your elbows, you get a massive amount of inner uh, medial chest engagement. Um, I was trying to keep my shoulders back, my chest out as always. Um, I didn't want to bend over too much because I'm trying to keep it uh, a kind of like an element of a decline fly because I feel like I can get more engagement there. Um, I did three sets of 12 of these again. Um, I don't know why I keep saying this every time. It's pretty much always uh, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. That isn't really going to change. Um, and then I did some uh, incline uh, dumbbell chest press. To be honest, here it looks like more of a shoulder press. It is. It was a kind of a chest press. I mean, the the angle there is a bit strange, but from side on, it was. It's more than 45 degree, but it wasn't too much. So it was still technically an incline chest press. Um, this is the third of my three sets of these I did. I did again about. I think I was slightly lower, maybe kind of eight, nine, ten around that kind of region of reps. Um, focusing on coming out wide. My shoulders felt good here. Sometimes I get a bit of pain, but that felt strong. Um, I felt actually felt some nice kind of upper chest engagement. I don't always get that, um, but it felt quite good here. It looks a little bit wonky from this angle, but I can assure you it's not. It's just the camera angle. 
Um, and then to finish the session, I did some uh, seated um, kind of French press using a single dumbbell. I do tend to, I mean, you probably heard this before, I do tend to always use a single dumbbell over an easy bar or any kind of other bar purely because it feels a more it feels like a more natural position to me. I feel like if I do an easy bar, for some reason I doesn't feel comfortable going back to that kind of full elbow flexion. Whereas here, <clears throat> it feels more natural. It feels like I get a more natural range and I can really engage all uh, three heads of my triceps. Um, I did three sets of again about twelve reps of these, and that was my session. So. Um, I'm pleased with the progress. It's another PR. Obviously, I want a lot more, but like I keep, like I keep saying, as I get used to the um, heavy singles, uh, that should go up. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I'll see you tomorrow.